In this video, we're going to go over the basic operational functions of our 9 to 11 foot drywall lift. This unit is designed to help you replace ducting, lighting, and aid in other lifting tasks when you need a third hand. The drywall lift features a lightweight design, allowing users to easily maneuver the unit while operating. The lift also tilts at a 65 degree angle, making it ideal for drywall installation. Equipment of any kind must be operated with care. We want you to achieve the results you want without endangering yourself, others, or property. We encourage you to wear a hard hat, protective footwear, and eye protection while renting the drywall lift. The drywall lift will be provided in three separate sections, the base, the mast, and the cradle. Complete assembly will take less than five minutes. First, open the legs on the base assembly to their operating position. Make sure the spring-loaded plungers are fully engaged and the legs are securely locked into position. Place the mast assembly firmly into the base and make sure the mast locating ring is firmly seated onto the base locating post. After those two components are assembled, place the cradle assembly onto the mast. Use the locking pin to ensure that the cradle is locked to the mast and make sure it is facing the proper direction. To lift and lower loads, use a winch to crank the mast up or down into the desired position. Please note that any unstable load must be balanced and secured prior to lifting. Each handle is equipped with two mounting positions. With the handles mounted in the standard position, the operator can raise and lower loads as normal. When mounted in the high-speed position, the operator can raise and lower much faster. To place the cross arms in their operating position, pull the ring on the spring-loaded plunger and remove from the storage bar. Then, position the cross arm over one of the operating positions and drop down into place, ensuring that the spring-loaded plunger has fully engaged in the hole. Extend the load rails if needed. To do this, extend the rails, pull the ring on the spring-loaded plunger, and slide the rail out. The spring-loaded plunger will engage in the next available position. To position the load support hooks in the operating position, pull the ring on the spring-loaded plunger and rotate the hook from the stowed position. Ensure that the spring-loaded plunger is fully engaged prior to loading drywall onto the lift. Use the steering handle to position the lift during operation. To position the handle, pull out past the stop block and rotate up 90 degrees. Release the handle and it will lock into place. Engage the backup brake while operating. To do so, simply press it down with your foot. This will prevent the lift from rolling backwards. To place the brake back into its stored position, lift it up with your foot till it locks onto the rear leg. To break down the unit, please make sure the cross arms load rails, and support hooks are all in the stored position. First, remove the cradle from the mast and then mast from the base. After the three sections are uninstalled, fold the legs into their stored position. At Sunbelt Rentals, we rent the tools and equipment customers need to accomplish anything they want to do. I hope this basic operational guide to the drywall lift has given you all the information you'll need. For further information, please contact us at 1-844-SBR-TOOL. Thanks for watching.